question that members of super funds have been asking is, should I change my investment options within super due to the downturn in the share market because of COVID-19? So in this situation, it's always good to reach out to your super fund and see if you can gain some personal financial advice. And most of the super funds will offer that one-on-one -on -one service. And that's where you sit down with somebody who goes through what your attitudes towards risk might be, and also what your timeframes around retirement might be as well. So if you are considering changing your investment option, it's always good to speak to somebody first. And so contact your super fund to do that. With your super fund, they'll have a range of different investment options that you can choose from. Uh, they start from being primarily cash-based investment options and they go right through until uh, having a high level of exposure to shares and property. And with having a high level of exposure to shares and property, there'll be a lot more fluctuations in the rates of return and they also carry a higher level of risk. So if you haven't made an investment option when you've started with a, with a super fund, chances are you've ended up in something that's got a higher level of exposure to shares and property. And that's because superannuation funds are built for the long term. And over the long term, shares and property tend to outperform those cash-based investment options. So factors to consider when you're thinking about changing your investment options. Uh, with superannuation, you've got to meet a condition of release. So anyone born after the 1st of July, 1964, your preservation age is age 60. So if you're 30 years of age, you've still got 30 years before you can access that money. So you can afford to have those ups and downs within the market. So that's why it might be worth considering having more exposure to those growth assets that give you greater returns in the long term. Have I moved within the last five years of my working life? What am I going to be doing with that money when I do retire? Am I going to be pulling it out and paying it off debt or potentially going on a holiday? Or will I be converting it into an income stream? So a lot of members will uh, move it into the other side of superannuation. And if you're going to be drawing a pension from it, uh, you still want to beat inflation. And for Australians, life expectancy is 82 and a half at the moment. So if you're retiring at age 60, you've still got 22 and a half years where that money's uh, got to beat inflation for you. So there's a lot of things to think about um, before changing your investment options. Um, it's more than a case of simply putting it into the cash-based environment where effectively you're crystallizing any downturn in the market. So it's always good to speak to somebody about your investment options. Thank you.